So I think one area of mutual agreement and priority is vegetation management. But I think we want to work with you to really recognize the changing climate and what it means to our forests and actually work together with that science. That science is going to be key because if we, if we ignore that science and sort of put our head in the sand and think it's all about vegetation management, we're not going to succeed together protecting Californians. Okay. It'll start getting cooler. I you, wish, just, you just watch. I wish science agreed with you. <laughs> Folks, it's been an interesting 2020 for ocean science. We've seen continued confirmation that polar ice loss disrupts the warm status of the other latitudes. The models are clear, and so are the observations of the ongoing shutdown of the Gulf Stream, the effects on the heat exchange and the overturning circulation. It's the movie, Day After Tomorrow, it just takes longer than a week to freeze the world. And we've also seen that the Beaufort Gyre is still holding tightly onto its cold climate bomb ready to dump a record amount of that cold, fresh water into the Atlantic and affect those heat flows that make it so people can live at some of the higher latitudes we currently occupy. Well, now it's time to get Antarctica involved, and he's feeling jaded after such a long absence from this oceanic discussion. There's no teamwork here, it's just a race to the finish, and as a matter of absolute fact, sea ice dynamics such as the ones we're discussing are left out of most of the modern climate models because they show the cooling trigger and they destroy the global warming propaganda but when they are added in indeed the cold freshwater melt produces thick sea ice cooler atmospheric conditions and an extension of spread of the sea ice no escape if we try to heat the earth more the process will go faster and harder while they pass the gatekeepers and peer review by saying they don't think this will completely counteract global warming, they were not at all shy about saying this is going to cause considerable cooling and the effects are going to be felt worldwide. The jaded competition comes in because they say Antarctica can chill the entire world so quickly it might even shut down the melting in the Arctic, which slows down the day after tomorrow situation. I'm not so sure that's great news when it's an Antarctic challenger for the genesis of cold. Essentially, it's north versus south. While most are worried about warmth, they are at each other's throats trying to see which one gets to throw this planet back into an ice age. Ocean shutdowns ongoing. Thank you.